Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, not too much movement since the last video, but so far the support area is holding. Current price action would suggest that this, what we are seeing here is indeed a fourth wave. Currently doesn't look finished yet. The last wave here to the upside that occurred of the 1855 low, which was printed today is only in three waves. And we need now a break above $18. No, $18 would be good. $18.89, yeah. So I'm on the lookout. If $18.89 is breaking, if it does, it would favor that a wave five is in progress. Um, we can look at targets again, but for now it's looking good that we rallied obviously, strangely without Bitcoin, but it is what it is. Um, it did break, which was the forecasted move as long as we're holding 1717, yeah, that we would rally in a third wave with clear targets. We're on our way to reaching these targets, um, but the latest support was lifted to 1844. Already discussed that in the previous video, because as you can see here, of today's low, no, yesterday's low, we can count a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three um, to make sure that we get a fifth wave. We need to hold 1844. The thing is that um, probabilities shift that we move into a different wave count below 1844. So we need those five waves to indicate that we are in the third wave. Um, and to get that fifth wave, we really need to hold the 1844 level. Below 1844, I cannot defend the scenario anymore that we are in a fourth wave, because then this retraces more than it would be ideal for a fourth wave. And we need to start to favor other scenarios, for example, other interpretations. For example, that this was only a three wave rally and we're breaking down, um, or maybe even, yeah. And that is another fallback option that all of this here was a wave one. This here was a wave two. This here in three waves is a wave three. This here is a wave four. And we're gonna get three waves up in a fifth wave. That would be a diagonal, yeah? So that's possible still. Just wanna mention that because this is not unlikely given the clear three wave move up here move down, clear three wave move up here to 1889 or 18, yeah, 1889. So again, things are, um, even if we lose 1844, we could still go higher eventually, but um, it would be a less reliable pattern. It would be a diagonal. Um, even in a diagonal, I would want that the 1802 level stays intact. So again, it's a bit like below 1844, it will get less reliable. Uh, as long as we're holding 1844, we can break out directly in an impulse, which would be the most reliable pattern. If we break down below 1844, then upside pressure will remain active, in my opinion, as long as 1802 is holding. And what would be a target for the fifth wave if we rally directly from here? So we can take for that length waves one through three, and we go to the low of the fourth wave, and again, targets remain. First, very first target would be 1902, um, but that would be rather unlikely. I think we should go a bit higher. And we've got 1931, um, 1952, and 1979, whereas 1979 is really extended already. All right, so that's sort of what I'm looking at here. We can also try another method of measuring, which is taking the length of the wave one comparing to the length of the wave five, typically looking here for the one to one ratio that would take us to around 1910. So that sits between that 38.2 extension of 1902 and the 61.8 extension 1931. So, but this is sort of the range, yeah? I mean, we just need to be watching and then it depends on the subdivisions as well. It's a bit too early to look at targets basically, because um, we have no confirmed bottom for the fourth wave, yeah? but we will have it above 1889. So yeah, it's um, uptrend breakout is still in play. In my opinion, we had good volume as well. Um, and there is not much more to add. Obviously when it breaks down, support will be this box again, down to 1717, yeah, basically between 1775 and 1717. That did work out really well. This one here did work out really well. 
So um, let's see if it can finally push higher. It needs to break above 1889 now. What is quite good though, is that um, it basically retested and confirmed today previous swing highs as support. Yeah, it retested basically the uh, 1860 level when it came down here today to 18, yeah, 1855 and bounced off again. So it's quite good that we're holding um, on that high level now and we didn't immediately break down again as we did it you know, all the time here, do you see the difference? I mean, um, most of the times here we broke down immediately. Now, of course, this can still happen. Yeah, it would look a bit like what we did here, um, but it's already, let's say a good sign that so far we're holding. Again, it all comes down to that 1844 level, then 1802, 1775 and 1717. And uh, let's take a look at the indicators quickly. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the daily because here it's starting to look promising, bullish yeah. on the RSI. We are above 50 and we hold there. That looks good, that indicates uptrend. MACD prevented a bearish crossover. That is definitely um, not bearish. <laughs> that has bullish implications. Um, the four hour also increases bullish momentum. The four hour RSI also in the bullish range, not overbought yet, but overbought ranges or levels on in crypto don't matter too much to me. It's more the oversold, which is a good sign. And yeah, on the one hour pushing higher here as well, um, just consolidating. So losing a little bit of bullish momentum here on the MACD. But yeah, I mean, they are all showing basically still uptrend. Let me, while we're here, um, adjust the time here on the timestamps. By the way, if you become channel member, do you become ex you get access to all the live charts that I use um, on TradingView. I think you can even integrate them into your own TradingView. I haven't tried that myself, but I think some people do that. Um, so you see when they're updated, you see the timestamp. You can just check the chart when you want an update. Um, yeah, but that's where we are. There is not much more to add. So hopefully we see some more action today. And hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.